So I'm about to have a vulnerable moment. <laughs> I rarely do this. Don't make me regret it, okay? I'm gonna let y'all in my business just a little bit. <laughs> okay, so let me tell y'all the story about how I will never give that's not in my league a chance ever again. Um, so you know how guys be like, listen, I I swear, like, you ever give me a chance, I'm gonna I'm gonna really show you. I don't fall for those guys, right? I am a I like what I like type person. If you didn't get me within the first 10 minutes of me talking to you, you probably ain't never gonna get me, right? So there was a gentleman that had been reaching out to me when I tell you for over 10 years. Over 10 years in my DMs talking to himself most of the time. Within the past like three years maybe, I might have given him my number through Instagram because I was having a vulnerable moment. And um, we, we've had conversations before, we've met in person. I just was not interested, okay? It got to the point where he was so resilient, so persistent that I was like, maybe I'll, I guess I'll try. So whatever, he ended up getting my number and now he's talking to himself in my DMs and texting me every morning, sending me prayers every morning, a scripture. Okay. I love that. And if I, I went through a really, really emotional time last year. So like little stuff like that was really hitting home for me and, you know, touching my soft spot. So he got cool points for that from me for whatever reason, you know, I, I don't really know how my brain functions and why I was allowing certain things to go on, but I did. You did because you wanted an emotional tampon and dude is such a super simp that he was just begging for your temp attention and he was probably willing to just lick your feet in the middle of your toes and do anything that you wanted him to do because he's a super sim. And then after a while you said, oh yeah, I can, I can use them in some kind of way because see a woman using a man is not always about monetary value. It, it has a lot to do with time. And fellas, if you're watching this video, remember your time is your most valuable asset. It's most more valuable than any money that you got in the bank your time, your life, the time that you're alive is more valuable. Don't waste your time and don't be begging women because look, she's attractive. I'll give her that, but she's not the only one, bro. Don't do that 10 years and you're begging. Come on, man. You know, this story is not going to end well. Nonetheless. So here we are. I started being like, Hey, I'm going to, if I'm in town, I'll hang out. He was started being like, Hey, I am going to send a flight for you. Come hang out with me. I want to show you that I want to marry you. And I used to respond like, Hey bro, every nigga says that, right? Every nigga wants a piece of you until they get you in and they're gone. No, I'm going to marry you. I, you're my dream woman. So now I'm like, all right, it's cool. I, I could go to a wedding with him. I like going to weddings. I like being people's show pony because I enjoy things like that, right? So I start considering actually flying to go see him. And um, now I'm like on his page, picking him apart. Like mm. he'll send me videos like, hey, I went and got my teeth cleaned. I know how much you like when people get their teeth cleaned. I was like, okay, effort. He's like, well, and I smell real nice. You know, I like that type of stuff too. I'm like, you know what? He's so nice. Let me give him a chance. So I'm looking on his page, like looking at his teeth, looking how tall he is, looking at his body. And then I go, what's up with that hairline? And I look past it. That that should have been my telltale sign. I'm looking at all his videos. It looks like he has like a freaking painted on hairline. And I still went against my better judgment. So what? You know, you ladies disqualify men for some of the dumbest things ever. And you wonder why you can't find one. Hairline, who cares? Oh, his beard is not thick enough. Oh, his bottom tooth is, is a little bit crooked. So what? You're so petty because you think that you're all that and you're cute, but you're not a 10. I'ma just keep it a buck. See, somebody then told you like this little super simp that you're my dream girl and you're like off the scales. You're not even a 10, you're off the scales and it then soaked into your head. You're not all that. You got some red flags that I can just see just from, from what I seen in the video already. It's crazy. You got me. So even after all my investigative work, that, of that hairline <laughs> um he got me this is how he got me i went on that boat when i went on that boat i got real bored and really i don't want to say lonely because that wasn't the word but i was just like in need of some type of energy right um so he's messaging me while i'm on there and i was like you know what 
I, I fly back to Houston when I mean I get back to Houston when I get there pull up you live very close to there pull up he was like oh I got this that and a third on Sunday I was like well don't blow your opportunity and he was like you know what you're right I'm gonna take this opportunity you're giving me a window of opportunity I'm gonna take it oh Lord. he's like I'm going to drive down there on Saturday uh, stop drinking with you about nine o'clock and then drive back at five in the morning so I can make it back for X, Y, and Z on Sunday. I was like, hey baby, whatever you choose to do, that's your business. And you drive all the way down there. I haven't watched the rest of the video, so I don't know, but you drive all the way down there, waste all your time, get nothing in return. I'm pretty sure of that. Cause see, she already got you by the balls. She, she already got control of this guy. You know, she's just dangling carrots. And I love when women do that. Oh, if you can't come right now, then oh, well, don't think about it again. It's just games. It's just control. What you should have said was, I can't come right now. I got a life to live and I got to take care of my business. Maybe I'll catch you on the next one. Rain check. Take your power back. But instead, he wants to keep giving her power because she's so fine in his mind. You're just being simpy, wimpy, and weak. And women like this will run you and take everything you got every day of the week. Thirsty, right? So make a long story short, when I got off that boat and got back to the house, he was in Houston waiting for me. And I was like, just pull up to my mom's house. Like, just come hang out. I didn't realize by the time he got there how tired I would be. So now he's at my house, my mom's house, and I am exhausted. I can barely keep up with the conversation. He's chipper. He's ready. You hear me? Um, it's about 1.30, 2 o'clock, and I am pooped. No, you just weren't interested in the guy, and you started pretending like you were tired. That's all you did. Just keep it a book. If you're so bold and you're so bad to talk the way you talked before, just be honest. You saw the guy, he didn't measure up, you didn't like him to begin with, and you just, all of a sudden, I'm so tired. Come on now. Because you knew he would fall for that. All right, but he's still there, not leaving, not catching none of the vibes that I'm clearly not being myself. Make a long story short, I get up and go out. We go out. We go to eat, and then we go to drink with my cousins and my friends. There were so many signs in the night. So many signs that I should have just took my black ass home, but I chose to stay the night with him because I felt like, you know, he drove all the way here. I could at least stay the night with him. That's the least I could do. Boy, I, 30, at 36 years of age, still dumb as hell. Dumb. So stay the night. I wake up at like 8 in the morning. He's gone. I, I, I knew he would be gone. Um, let's also, rip, 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 rip. when we got to the hotel room, obviously we showered. Baby, I'd never once seen this man without something on his head. You know that's a bad sign, right? If you're not interested, why are you at a hotel with the guy staying overnight and take you took a shower? I don't know if you took it together and all that. Why are you doing all that? You're just playing a lot of games, and that's a dangerous game because to me, guys that do that type of stuff, there's something wrong with them. And he might have been a psycho that straight snapped on you, but you playing games. Because you're so pretty and you think that you're invincible. You're not Teflon. Like you wouldn't put a do-rag on or whatever that was his dreads. You wouldn't put that thing on your head to protect your hair. Cut it out. You That hairline is on the struggle bus. I already know it is. Has to be. It can't. There's no other alternative. Anywho, um, yeah, I called him like when I woke up because I was hungover. He, he, and we had a little slight conversation. Then he was like, hey, I got to handle X, Y, Z. Okay, go handle your business. You know I have not heard from that man since. <laughs> he did exactly what I told him he would do. And I really hate that for him because he's dead to me. Oh, so he didn't give you what you wanted. But it makes no sense to me because you didn't want anything. You're mad that he's not chasing you. You're mad that he won't be your emotional tampon anymore that you can just dump on. Maybe he realized that that was just a losing battle and he was just wasting his time, especially if he went to a hotel room with you. And I'm sure once you got in there, you said, I'm so sleepy and I went to sleep or whatever the case may be. No kind of action. Maybe he realized that he just wasted a lot of his time and that you're just not worth it. And I didn't expect this video to go this way for sure. So that's what you're really mad about. Dead, bitch. 
I called him a couple of times after that to like cuss him out and he acted like he was just so busy with work <laughs> so busy with work and his child that he just couldn't fathom having this conversation right now and that he would call me back he called me back one time while I was asleep and I have yet to have the conversation with him baby he has since gotten the you are dead to me and you are a fucking loser text message, um, which I have not heard back from. I also think I blocked him, so I won't be getting that uh, correspondence back from him. But I say all that to say to you nice guys out there that, you know, you were hoping that one day I might give you a chance. I'm not. I'm not interested in anybody. If you're not my type, I'm not even entertaining the thought of talking to you. He ruined it up for all of you. Welcome. Thank you for joining my TED Talk. I am done embarrassing myself for the day. Now you ruined it for yourself because you was playing games. You knew that you were not interested in this guy from the beginning. Maybe you actually were, and that's just the game that you play, just to test the man and see what it was. But you see, it sounds like this man woke up and understood that he was just wasting his time and his money on something that was never going to happen. Because, see, you said you got to your mom's house and you was tired. How did you end up at the club and drinking and all that? So I'm sure when you got back to the club, you was tired, too, and you went to sleep and there was no action. And you just can't stand the fact that the man has a life and he's busy. You wasted enough of his time. You're just mad because he won't continue to chase you around. That's what that is. You don't like it because you got the pretty syndrome. You think you're so fine and you're so pretty that a man is just... You know, supposed to be a chip back and call and bow down to you and give you these sweet messages every single day. How much is this man supposed to do before you actually show him some interest? He said enough is enough. You didn't like it. But instead of being a, ma a mature adult and just going on about your business because you said you wasn't interested anyway. Why are you so upset? Instead of just moving on, you got to send messages to cuss them out and this and that. Don't like it. It's funny how women that are attractive like this and women in general, they love to reject men all day long, but they don't like the rejection when it comes back to them. Men hear this all the time. I'm so busy. I have to do this. I have to do that. I'm sorry. I just forgot all these excuses. But the minute it's in reversed, women have this major issue major you wasted his time he woke up now you got to make a video crying about it and saying oh if you're a nice guy don't even think about it because he ruined it no you ruined it for yourself and you're gonna keep ruining it for you ruining it for yourself and the last thing i will say is as pretty as you are you're very masculine you got some issues work on that young lady before you be trying to be in relationships and stop thinking that you can just use men for their time and all of that type of stuff just because you're pretty. Because a lot of men are not as stupid as you think they are. That's all for this video, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments. Make sure to like the video. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm definitely trying to get to this 2,000 uh, subscriber mark by the end of the year. If you're on TikTok, Make sure to show me some love over there and give me a follow. I'd appreciate it. And as always, have a good day. Peace. May the force be with you.